Good morning everyone and welcome to Disneyland Paris day two. It's like 20 to 8. We're about to go extra magic hours at Walt Disney Studios and it's my birthday. I'm 2-0 today and I'm scared but look what Lewis did bless. But yeah hi if you don't know me my name's Louise. I do Disney vlogs, cruise line, land, Paris, world and I lived in Florida for three months and I've just got well. Just got back just not just got back but I worked at Universal so if you like things like that then make sure to subscribe but yeah we're just about to head out thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day so I'm inspired by Disneyland Minnie Mouse today so I've got this green jumper from Main Street Morgan a uh, red skirt some black fluffy leggings my Uggs and my new ears from Shop Disney like that but yeah we're gonna leave now because we're in a bit of a rush it's literally dark outside we've never been to a Disney park in the, in the morning in the dark yeah but yeah because you if you stay on site at disneyland paris you get an hour of extra magic hours before the park opens so the park opens at nine today so we're heading there for eight our plan is to rope drop crush's coaster we're going to do studios for the morning then we've got a fun dining reservation and then we're going to probably head back over to the disneyland park later and we'll definitely go going to watch the fireworks tonight because we didn't do that last night if you haven't seen the day one vlog i'll leave it up i never know what side it is up here somewhere um of travel day which was yesterday where we just did disneyland park and we went and watched the avengers show in the evening so if you want to check that out then i'll link it below and stuff i'm sure you'll find it but yeah so studios is the plan of the morning crushes coaster one of my favorite rides ever it's literally like two minutes past eight and uh these are the queues to get in i'm assuming we've got to jump at the back of the studio's queue yeah wow that's crazy we actually think we made great time because as soon as we joined the queue everyone started flooding in so we might be all right <laughs> it's just not a sport for the week <laughs> we're on a mission here we go i'm not kidding when i say 80% of people go to Crush's Coaster for rope drop, so it says five minutes. Let's be real, it's not going to be five minutes. Yeah, Lewis, get the timer on. I'm actually sweating a bit. I'm literally walking straight through the thing, but I want to show my birthday button. It says, Happy Birthday, Louise. I got it from uh, the Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom, and it was five dollars like obviously you can get them for free and then just write in black sharpie but if you want them personalized you get them personalized and then you just go pick it up later and it was five dollars so and i've saved it all this time for this special day <laughs> it's really pretty so i might try and get a disneyland paris one though just to add to the collection but yeah look we're literally walking straight through to the inside bit so we can't be queuing any more than 15 minutes surely so excited because Finding Nemo is my favorite Disney film. It's been five minutes and we're about to get on, so I'm not sure if you're allowed to film this, so I don't know. I'll see you in a bit. We're off Crush's Coaster already. I thought that was going to take up a great portion of our morning. What's the time? 20 past eight. 20 past eight? 8.18. We queued five minutes straight on and absolutely brilliant. You could go either way. So we're going to go do Tower of Terror because it's only a five minute wait. Um, I honestly thought that was going to take a really good portion of our morning, but it hasn't. So, we've, I'll tell you what we should have just gone and done, Remy's. Oh, we'll do this then. We'll go that to ends, Remy's. Because you got Toy Story, Story and Playland. All yeah. Um, it's lightened up now, as you can see. It's not completely light. But yeah, we're going to do, do Tower of Terror, which is terrifying here compared to Hollywood Studios. And then we've got our dining reservations at 12. 12, 12 to the 18th. 12, something, something like 12 something. So we've got lots of time this morning to do things. We want to see the shows and everything as well. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to go on Tower Terror now. You can't film on Tower Terror here, so I won't be filming. But let's go. Help, we're the only people in the room. Oh my god, guys. Hollywood, 1939. We just had the pre-show all to ourselves and it was in English today. And we recited the whole thing. So yeah, we just stood there and recited the whole thing because we're sad Disney adults, but um, there's no one in here. Ah, this is so magical, this is my favorite ride ever. We just off Tower of Terror, we walked straight on and we were in the pre-show room by ourselves and we were in the elevator shaft with two other people. And I kid you not, it was the quietest ride of Tower of Terror I've ever been on in my life. But as we said yesterday, if you hadn't seen yesterday's vlog, the Tower of Terror in Paris 
is number one, a lot more creepier, number two, a lot scarier. We were gonna go do Remy's and Toy Story, but we decided as we've come out outside of Avengers Campus anyway, we're gonna go do Web Slingers, which Lewis has never done before, but I did it in California. Really good fun, it does hurt though. What's the wait time? Five minutes. Brilliant, let's go. Here we are, we're literally walking straight through. We've got our glasses, we're ready, who's gonna win? Me. No. No, you've got a track record of losing on these types. No, I'm gonna win. Nope. We just did web slingers. My arm hurts. My arm hurts. I did the worst out of the whole vehicle. Lewis did quite well actually, but my arms were done by the first first three. Yeah. It's exhausting. Anyway, we're gonna go over to Remy's and Toy Story Playland. So we're gonna do that and we wanna watch Mickey and the Magician we'll and the, the Pixar now. Pal Pixar together. Something, I don't know. The new Pixar show, so we wanna do that as well. We're going on RC Racer. I've not done this one in years. It's a five minute wait. I didn't do this right the last time I came, so look at we're just saying how um cool the queue is. RC racer complete. It was actually quite the thrill, wasn't it, Lewis? It was very short, but it was good fun. We walked straight on again. And we're gonna go on a Remy. Remy's. Yes, what to prepare? Huh? What I idea? No. A simple omelet? Too simple. We walked straight on again. Like, we've done so much, and what's the time? Like, nine? Ten past nine, so we've got most nine. of it. Done. Brilliant. We're gonna go have a note in the shop and then see what time the show was on and stuff. But yeah, it was the exact same ride as the Flo Rider. We've uh, basically done everything we wanted to do here, and it's nine, it's nine a.m. Well, half nine. Um, and the shows don't start till, well, Mickey and the Magician's not on till one, which is the earliest show. And our dining is at 12 something. So. I think we're going to watch that show after dinner and I think the plan is now we're going to maybe get Lewis wants coffee we're going to go get a snack because we've still got a few hours and we're a bit hungry to keep us going then we're going to hop over to Disneyland Park do a few bits there and then come back for lunch we're going to have a go at screaming Try the middle one. Ooh. Yep. Do you want to go? I'll have a go. Ah! I don't know. <laughs> As we've done studios for the morning, I was going to get a crepe, but the thing wasn't open. So we're going to head to Starbucks in Disney Village to get coffee. Lewis wants a coffee. I might get breakfast. a breakfast something. Lewis has got his coffee, what did you get? A caramel waffle latte. Caramel waffle latte. And he had a little, like yogurt granola -y thing All as well. Good use. But we're heading into Disneyland Park now. We're gonna I'm gonna get a snack because I'm a bit peckish and I need something to keep me going till lunchtime. And then I think we said we'll head to Discovery Land because we didn't go over there yesterday and do like Space Mountain and stuff, so yeah, that's the plan. The scaffolding's down. Yesterday they had like a construction wall up here, so that's good. Look how good it looks. I'm actually really impressed with the Christmas decorations. Yeah. They are like so much fun. They're so magical. I'm a big fan. Making a swift approach into Discovery Land. Lewis has got some snow in his hair from Main Street. Here we go, Hyperspace Mountain. Fun fact of the day. This is, is it the only space mountain that goes upside down? Yes. The only space mountain that goes upside down. You know that? We just got off 
off Hyperspace Mountain. We literally walked straight on again, yeah. didn't we? Um, my eyes were streaming. So mine, I was crying. <laughs> it was it was just like a cold breeze and my eyes were watering. I think I'm gonna get a crepe now. We got a crepe and a teller crepe and a drink meal deal thing from outside of Buzz. Um, it was... Seven euro each? Seven euros each. Seven euros each. Seven euros each. Yeah. You can get it with sugar, but we got it with Nutella. Taste test. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, we're gonna head over to... Where are we going? Big Thunder. Look how cool this is. It's so dark in here, but we've come to see the dragon under the castle. I would take a video on my phone, but like, you can't even see it. If you didn't know, you can come underneath Sleeping Beauty's castle and see the dragon, which is fun. We just tried to take some photos by the castle. Lewis needs to go to photography class. Adventure Isle, we're having a wander through. We said we'll see if there's any characters to meet. And then we said we'll have a look at um, Big Thunder. I want to meet Minnie Mouse, but I don't know if she's here. We're gonna go and do Indiana Jones, which is those that are an outdoor roller coaster. It goes upside down. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. It's a five minute wait. For reference, this is the ride. Indiana Jones. I think we queued what maybe 10, 10 15 minutes. It was <laughs> worst ride ever. I hate it. It just hurts so much. Like your head's just banging about, and then if you've got your earrings in, your earrings start stabbing you, and it's just no. I don't like it. I like, I love roller coasters, but it's just not smooth at all. I enjoyed and it. it. I just I hate it. It just gives me a headache. Lewis enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Fun. Which was better though. Indiana Jones here or Indiana Jones in California? Disneyland's Indiana Jones Adventure. Yeah, definitely. We're in the queue to meet Cowboy Minnie. I'm so excited. My girl on my birthday. Um, it's right next to the uh, barbecue. She's just down here. There she is. That's the best costume ever. We just met Minnie Mouse. It was a magical time. But we're gonna go, where are we going? We're just wandering around we now. We went... got lunch in just under an hour. Yeah, 50 minutes. So yeah, we're just gonna have a wander over to studios and then lunchtime. I know you can probably already tell from the title of this video, but we are going to Bistro Chez Remy for lunch, which is the Ratatouille restaurant next to Ratatouille. So it's quite hard to get a reservation for that because I wanted to do it last time I came, but we couldn't get a reservation. So my birthday meal, we're gonna go there. I'll show you all the things. But yeah, so yeah, that's what we're going for lunch because I hadn't even said. Look at how amazing this is. And they've got turquoise one. I did see on TikTok someone saying that apparently Disneyland Paris is like pulling through with like Tokyo Disney kind of merch vibe and I think that's right. Have we seen a lot of things like this? We're a big fan of the Phantom Manor spirit jersey. That's the front and then the back says Phantom Manor. It's actually really nice. I like this as well and that little ornament. I think they're really nice little little decorations. We are leaving Disneyland Park. We're heading over to Walt Disney Studios for our dining reservation. Starving. Yes, we're looking forward to it. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. We just wandered down the shops. We bought a Christmas pin, yes, didn't we? Did. That said um, Disneyland Paris on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our lunch. Yep. Then we're going to watch Mickey and the Magician. And then we're going to go pop to Disney Village, get all the bits of shopping that we want to get take them back to the hotel then we're gonna come back to the park later do some more rides obviously get something to eat and then fireworks Christmas show yeah. watch the parade again depends we'll see we'll see but we're kind of going with the flow now because the only thing we really want to do that we haven't done yet is Big Thunder so we've got a whole half we've got half of, of today. today and the rest of tomorrow morning yeah because it's only 12 yeah it's literally 12 so We've got plenty of time to do plenty of things. And I'm hoping tomorrow that Pixar show yeah, is- Yeah, it um, said back this weekend. So, so hopefully tomorrow. Because tomorrow's our last day and it's Saturday. So hopefully that Pixar show's back. So I'd quite like to see that. But yeah, so hopefully we get to watch some shows and stuff. But 
it's time to go to Bistro Remy. Ah! Ah! The studio's park's really busy now. Remy's is a 45 minute wait, but we're going for lunch. I'm starving. I am also starving. I'm really excited for this. Look how cute it is in here. The wall and the trees. We're just waiting to be seated now. cute the menus are we're on a little table ready to eat I'm very excited about this so this is the menu you can choose from the Remy menu which is a starter and a main or the Emile menu which is starter main and dessert and then you can do it with wine as well for 75 I'm gonna go for the Remy menu I'm just gonna get a Sprite and I think well I'm gonna ask what the soup is and if not I'm gonna try the duck and then main courses I'm gonna have the steak, but the chicken also sounds really nice. But I think I'm gonna get the steak with the brie sauce. The duck has arrived. I thought I'd try it, because the soup was pumpkin and I don't like pumpkin, and I've never had duck. So we'll see, but I am a fussy eater. Lewis is gonna give it a go. No? It's not like, you know when you get like a, a whole duck kind of thing? Mm. Difference, but nice. Okay, I'll try a bit and let you know. I don't think you like it. Right, the main has just arrived. We both got steak. I got it well done with brie sauce. Lewis got it medium with, well. Looks like brie as well. He <laughs> meant to get the chef sauce, but I don't think he's that bothered about it, are you? Uh, with french fries, so yeah, I'll let you know how it is. We're hoping to go and see the 10 past two show of Mickey and the Magician, so. Fingers crossed. We've just finished eating at Bistro Remy. It's quarter to two we're gonna go and head over to Mickey and the Magician. Review out of five or ten? Ten. Out of ten. Six. Six. Yeah. It was it was like it was okay. It was fine. It's fine, that's it. But I just thought it was overpriced for what it was. Like this it was, it was we ended up paying 45 euros each and we thought it was 55. It was definitely 55 on the menu. I don't know. Maybe they gave me a discount because it's yeah. my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, because the, the drinks you had to pay for separately. Yeah, which is weird. So we were confused why it was 45, so I don't know if we've... Anyway, moving on. Um, the steak was nice. Like, it was nice. It was nothing special, yeah, but then... it was fine. You can't really go wrong with a steak. It's a, a slab of meat. Buzz Lightyear. Like, the sauce, actually, the brie sauce I really liked. It was just steak and chips. Yeah. You could get a really nice steak and chips meal for less than 45 yeah. euros. Um, like we were saying, when we ate at Steakhouse 71, it was, was like really cool. $30 or something that for the steak. That was discounted. And, no, I remember on the menu, my steak was $30. Was yeah. I think you had to pay for the size and stuff, but that was the best meal I've ever had, and it was cheaper than um, cheaper than, cheaper than this. Yeah, I know you're obviously paying for like the service as well, and to be in the restaurant, but yeah, I'm glad we've done it yeah. because I really wanted to do you it. You wanted to do it, so it like, is it's the, off your list kind of thing. Yeah, that is like the one restaurant here that I've wanted to do, so I'm glad we did it, but I wouldn't go, I wouldn't rush back. No. And because the fact as well that you have, you, you're paying for a starter and a main, not just a main. And you weren't fussed on the starter. I wasn't fussed on the starter, which I knew I wouldn't be because I'm fussy and there wasn't really anything that I would have eaten. Um, anyway, but I thought I might as well get one and try it. It's down here. I might as well get one and try it if I'm paying for it, do you know what I mean? So yeah, but yeah, six out of 10, our serve was really nice. Um, like the inside really, really busy cool. in there as well. It was, it was manic. And like there's just kids, there was kids like actually screaming. And it was just little things where I'm like, mm, you're paying a premium for this meal, but you're not really getting a premium oh, experience. Really. But I'm glad we did it. And we weren't, we were only in there like an hour. Yeah, really. it was all really quick. Yeah. So the starters came out within, I kid you not, five minutes. 10 minutes after we ordered them. But we're gonna go watch Mickey and the Magician now, then do some shopping and head back to the hotel for a bit and then come back out later for more fun things. Oh, also actually, while I'm here, um, there's a fire. We just saw on yes. Twitter. Uh, there's a fire in Frontierland and it's been evacuated. So Big Thunder's closed, Phantom Man's closed, everything's closed. Yeah, because there's a, an actual fire. 
So other than that, I don't know what will be happening in Frontierland when we get there, but we will see. I am excited for this. The show said it's half an hour long and there's no phone, no photos or videos, so bye. bye. See you after. We just came out of Mickey and the Magician. It was good, we enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? It was really good. Yeah, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. 7. But we're gonna go to the Tower Tower shop, get um, a postcard thing. And then we're gonna go into Disney Village, do a little bit of shopping, drop it back off at the hotel, have a chill, go to the hotel have shop. A nap. And oh. then we're gonna come back. <laughs> so the fun does not stop here. <laughs> We're confused to why Simba looks so stretched. I like the stitch one though, that's cute. On um, the jack, that's cute. We got some things in World of Disney and look how cute the reusable bags are. Um, Lewis got a pin and he also got me a... So the Sorcerer Mickey is as a treat for Lassie. Louise well, doesn't treat herself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a bit, Even on I'm a bit tight. Day. I'm a bit tight with my money. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go and do some more shopping. Lewis wants the, the black, black spirit, spirit jersey because he's got the world one and the Disneyland California one. So we Paris. also wanted a Christmas ornament, Starbucks mugs. Yes. What did I? Did I want Pandora, Pandora. potentially? We'll have to see. My mum told me to treat myself. So. Treat yourself. And you can just leave at the end of the bar. Thank you. Lewis has got a Starbucks mugs. He bought the studios and the park one. And another coffee because he said... I fell asleep during making the magician. Yes, so he's got a coffee instead of a nap, apparently. So more damage has been done. We went into Disney fashion. Lewis got his spirit jersey. How much was the spirit jersey? With the bag it was 68 euro. Yeah, but what? Oh, we've seen a bakery. I don't know. And I got a new Pandora charm park exclusive it's like the Eiffel Tower with Minnie Mouse next to it I'll show you when we get back but it's really cute how I think it was 80 euros I want to say so I mean Pandora's not cheap we all know that but yeah now that we're back for we've literally been back for like 10 minutes but we're gonna go back out we just came to drop stuff off I thought I'd give you a haul uh, of what we got so this is my bag of things look how cute the reusable bags are though. they're really nice this the small one was two euros Christmas ornament, but it's uh, you're not gonna be able to see probably maybe a little bit. But it's Mickey on the train from the Dazzling Christmas Parade, and it says Disneyland Paris on it. So that's really cute. And then the Pandora charm that I bought, it was seventy nine dollars. It's a park exclusive Disneyland Paris park. Seventy nine dollars. Seventy nine euros. Sorry. Look, it's Minnie Mouse with the Eiffel Tower. How adorable is that? So I bought that. That's my birthday treat to myself. And then last but not least, also a Mickey ears. Look how cute. I'm so wearing these Hollywood Studios and see Fantasmic Forbes. I got this postcard. That's Tower of Terror print. It was two euros, but I'm gonna like put it up as a little print in my, in my room at home. And then me and Lewis got two Disney Christmas pins, it's Minnie and Mickey, and then on the bottom it just says Disneyland Paris, so I thought that was cute. So I like to get a pin to remind me of my trip, and this is the Christmas trip and Disneyland Paris. That was everything we bought, I think I'll get anything else, um, but yeah, so that's a haul. But we're gonna head back, we're gonna go to Disneyland Park. Uh, Big Thunder's still shut because of the fire. We're gonna watch the Christmas show, we might watch the parade again. Might as well if we're there. And then we've got the fireworks to watch as well. And we've got to have dinner and everything like that. So that's the plan for this evening. So yeah, we're going to go back to Disneyland Park now. And have a magical time. We're going back to the park now. And we're going to go watch Let's Sing Christmas. Which is the Christmas show. We made it. We're going to go and watch Let's Sing Christmas. Oh! Brilliant. Thank you. I think you should come on stage. I should. Now we're just at the front wing for the parade. We were like, oh well, it's on in an hour again, so we'll go watch it and we'll just watch the parade again. So that's what we're doing now. It's on in seven minutes. I'm not going to film it this time, so if you want to see Mickey's dazzling Christmas parade, then watch yes. yesterday's vlog. Last, last week's vlog. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna sit back, relax and enjoy the show. We're going into the theatre to watch the Let's Sing Christmas. However, right, listen to this, watch the parade, sat there 45 minutes to gain my spot. This kid came and stood on, like I was sat crossly at the front, like fully, like stood on my legs to try and push to the front of me, like was actually climbing me like a climbing frame. I kid you not. Like, didn't they? They actually kids are awful. They, they, it like the kid, like actually stood on my legs. Like the kid was stood on me while was I was like sat kicking down. other people as well. Yeah, we were like, what is going on? It was chaos, and then it was coming from the other end, and also, and then no one told us that actually Mickey and Pals stand up and do a fun little wee on the stages on the hub. Sorry, we could have got a table to cook, save us, and knock you. Oh well, we'll see. Anyway, and then the castle lights up and all that. No one told me that, so now I'm fuming. So if you're going to Disneyland Paris at Christmas, then they do a little sing and a dance on the thing. Ah yes, Mickey. Sorry. We're about right. to see your second number. Oh, Mickey, peut-être pourrais-tu nous aider? Vous aider? Oh, please, Mickey. Could you help us? Quelle bonne idée! Alors, tout le monde en place. Noël est mon moment préféré de l'année. Maestro, musique. You're right, Mickey. This is the most wonderful time of the year.
We just finished watching Let's Sing Christmas. Oh, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. A lo it was lovely, lovely. But we're gonna go and get some dinner now. I think we're gonna go and get Mickey pizza. No, that was really good. I really enjoyed it. Minnie Mouse was in it. Minnie Mouse was there, so I loved it. Um, it's a bit chilly outside now. It was quite busy though. Really busy? So, yeah, just a pre-warning. But we're gonna go grab some food now. Mickey pizza. Bonjour. Closed. Never mind, we're not getting pizza because it's closed. Why do all the quick services shut so early here? It's 6.30. I don't understand. We've come to the Hakuna Matata restaurant and got chicken strips with fries and a chocolate mousse cake, which um, was, free. was free, and cherry coke. But we've noticed that it's really dark everywhere. Like there's no lighting in Disneyland Paris. So we're gonna eat this and then don't know what we'll do, we'll have to wait and see. Chicken strips are they good? Nice. There's like a salsa with it as well, not that you'll like it. <laughs> good. Hello. I thought I'd try my mousse chocolate cake thing on camera. Cheers. This is it. It's nice and light as well. That's nice. It's so dark. Like we've just seen people <laughs> walking into mm. wet floor signs and like it's it's quite it, to be fair it's quite a bit light around here, but round the back of Adventureland, pitch black. it's genuinely pitch black. You can't see where you're going. Like it's crazy. But we're gonna go and do Phantom Manor now because um, it's only a 10 minute wait. 